what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is James and what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be talking about DTF on hats so in particular six panel hats all of you that know the channel know that I like to mess around with five panel hats because I think a lot of times when you're doing leather patches which is what we do for customers or you're doing any type of DTF print such as this here we we are doing a DTF print on a hat for a customer when he placed his shirt orders, I threw in a couple hats. Before you know it, he's placing a large order of hats with us. So right now we're producing those hats, but we're gonna be talking about this style hat, a six panel hat, because a lot of you seem to have this problem where when you place the hat on the platen, you get this big gap between the face of this hat and the actual platen itself. You get this, this push gap between. So I'm going to be showing you on the 360 IQ hat press how we're actually going to resolve that issue. There is a technique involved if you're using six panel hats or if this center seam is very, very stiff. Now you do get some hats, very nice hats that'll fit very nicely to this platen here that is featured on the 360 IQ, but then you get some hats that are just a little stubborn in this area right here and they just need a little bit of finesse. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the technique, how we do it, the settings involved. Welcome to the channel, subscribe, let's get into it. All right, you guys, here's the hat, six panel hat. So this particular hat here is from Pitbull Hats. This is their Cambridge series, PB222 is the brand of this model. As always, never forget your silicone pads with your hats. These help protect the face of the hat as well as don't ever forget your bill protector. Some hats may need them, some may not. Figure out what you need or what you don't need. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna zoom in on the platen here and I'm gonna kinda show you what we got going on with this hat here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to fold this up and then of course make sure that this is tightened in the back. You wanna pull it tighter together so that this gap isn't so open. Why is this important? You don't want this metal piece popping through the hole, which I think personally, this design here on the Hotronics could be modified and made better, maybe wider so that it's not always popping through the hats. So make sure this is flipped up, get that on the platen. Okay, so once this is on, you notice this here, we have a lot of play in here. It's probably about a half inch or so of push play. This is what we want to resolve. We don't want this type of play in the hat. So letting it sit here for a minute is great. It helps it warm up. But what I do is tend to rub my hand over the hat just a little bit to kind of get it warmed up. And what you can do here See, it's getting better. Now we're probably down to about a quarter inch now, but we always want to have a preheat when it comes to this. So as we sit here and mess with this, it's getting better. So now we're at about a quarter inch of space on this, just from kind of rubbing our hand over it a little bit. And what we want to do now is we want to do a preheat on this. Even though this is heating up, we want to really get this flat and laid down against the platen. Because we're pressing DTF, that's why this is going to be very critical. So now we're going to get our silicone mat. We're going to place that. So as far as my temperatures and times, what I have on my upper is 295. The lower is running 185. My first timer, which would be my preheat and my post press, is set to 14 seconds. Now typically 14 seconds is with the silicone mat. That is equivalent to seven if we did not use the silicone mat. But because we wanna protect the hat, we wanna use the silicone mat. So first press, 14 seconds, we're at a pressure of about seven. Okay, so now this hat is nice and warmed up. It is flat. We see here when we put our finger down we're not seeing hardly any movement at all. It's pretty flat to the press. You can even pull down on your sides a little bit more to get it down. Now we're good to go here. So now we're gonna take our DTF transfer and you could pretty much base your transfer on that middle seam. But typically this is the hardest part when it comes to six panels is making sure that this lays down right. If you're not using this type of press, 
be very careful because you'll have other heat presses. Some may have removable platens that you can change out for other ones. Some might not, but you'll need to play around with what you need to do in order to make it work to get this flat. That's what really makes having this press so awesome is that it can shape to so many different style hats because of the natural uh, shape and contour of the actual face and top of the hat. So now we're gonna take our heat tape, which is here. We're gonna put that on the transfer. Okay, so here's our heat tape on the transfer all the way across. I'm peeling from this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little handle. I'm gonna fold this tape over just like so. Ah, come on, okay. So grab your transfer. Now what we're gonna do here is lay this right in the middle of the seam where you know it needs to go. Keep in mind too, when you are designing DTF for hats that have seams, and I don't know why a lot of people decide to go with hats with middle seams when it comes to DTF, you're gonna be better off with a five panel hat. But if for some reason you're going cheap or the customer wants a six panel hat or that's all you can get is for some reason a six panel hat, then go ahead and design or place the transfer where it's best gonna fit with that seam right there. So 55 seconds is what the second press is gonna be. And again, that's with a pressure of seven to the lower side of eight. With a silicone pad, I like to add a little bit more pressure because of the padding. Uh, that way you make sure that you're getting a lot of heat on there. Another thing to do is make sure you have a little cloth handy, something that you can rub the transfer with. I like to get in the habit of this because we can have tiny little letters like so. I like to take these and I like to just rub them down. I think that kind of adheres the transfer just a little bit to the hat. It, it kind of gets it down in my opinion and then I get to rub that seam just a little bit to make sure I'm getting anything that's right where that seam is. When it comes to custom hats guys, don't be in a hurry to peel them right away. This is a cold peel. Let it cool down. Press it, set it aside, peel it when you're ready to do your post press. But in this case, what I like to do is when I'm done doing this, I set this right next to a fan, which I'm gonna do now. And then I grab my other hat that was in front of the fan. This is nice and cold now. Now this one here is ready to peel. So I can pull that little handle. And then I'm going to pull the whole transfer off, just like so. Boom. Okay. And there is the transfer now on the hat. Now we're not done. This is going to require a post press now. This is the press that gets done after the initial press. What the post press does, it's the final press that really puts the transfer into the fabric of the hat and gives this design. You'll notice it's really smooth right now. The post press is gonna put the texture into this design because it's gonna bring the fabric into this. And then it'll help any remaining little pieces of adhesive that need to lay down and any adhesive dissolve and really make this design a part of the hat. So now we're gonna take our hat we're going to place that here. When it comes to doing hats, guys, like I said, don't be in a rush to do them. Don't be in a rush to try to peel them. You're trying to provide your customer with the best possible results, best possible quality hats you can. So take your time. If a hat takes a minute and a half to make, then it takes a minute and a half to make but it's gonna be one of the best hats your client's ever seen when it's all said and done. Again, this is 14 seconds. Now what I like to do one more time is just get your cloth and really get the middle part of the seam. You can work that seam just a little bit. And if you want, you can hit it again after you've done so. I'll hit it one more time for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I really wish this press had a quick release button, but it doesn't. I hate having to pound the handle just to open it up. And just like that, we have a complete DTF hat. Make sure that when you're done using this, what I like to do is kind of lay it on the top in between hits because it keeps this thing warmed up so that when you're using it, you know, it's not too cooled down. So that is simply how you do these style hats, guys. DTF on hats. What's great about DTF is that you can do full color images, 
if a company's sending you crazy gradient logos with all kinds of colors or just no gradients but still all kinds of colors there's nothing you can or can't do when it comes to DTF you can do everything whatever logo they send you you can put a full color image on custom hats or even garments and apparel so if you're interested in doing some custom hats with essential go ahead and visit our website uh, it will be up in a couple weeks or you can contact me on Instagram to get something going as well you'll be able to to do like I said DTF transfer ordering on our website as well so we partnered up with Supreme Screen Supply to where we're now officially selling the Supreme Color brand because it is one of the most affordable DTF transfers on the market and some of the coolest people to deal with is why we've chosen to sell that particular style DTF transfer so there it is guys very quick very simple to do DTF transfers on hats is how you get down these days when it comes to doing full color images period so the website is coming soon essentialprintsupply.com um, I'm wrapping up some of the final design aspects of the website and it will be ready to rock within the next week or so we're talking being able to order all your DTF transfers on that website being able to order all your leather patches your burlap patches your sublimation patches your DTF patches custom hats custom apparel you can order that as well also, you can customize shirts on the fly and design on the website. It's going to be a pretty cool experience for you guys. And no doubt, it's going to be probably one of the best places you're going to be able to order from. So I'm trying to tailor the experience to meet the needs of being not only simple, but meet the needs of you guys and keep the prices awesome as always. So until then, guys, my name is James. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.